aquatic center in Bengaluru on day two of Ned Kalapa All India Swimming Championship. So you saw how there was lots of action and lots of excitement yesterday. So let's see what the mood is like on day two. Let's see who the big winners are, how the young lot is doing. Let's go talk to them. Winning a medal on a weekend, it's like a ice cream treat from my parents. Uh, racing, friends, fun. Uh, it was very exciting racing the skins event. It's a great experience having a swimming pool and enjoying over here with our friends. Enthusiasm was high on the second day of the Netkalappa All India Swimming Championship 2023. With an extremely passionate crowd, high-spirited participants and cutthroat competition, the atmosphere at Netkalappa Aquatic Centre was electric. Day 2 saw 250 swimmers taking part in 22 events throughout the day. 12 events took place in the first half and 10 in the second half. Likit Selvaraj, who was placed at the 7th position in 100m breaststroke at the recently held Asian Games 2023 in China, won the gold medal in the Skins event here during the first half of the day. They have given me a free scholarship for a one-year uh, free membership for me based on my recent uh, Asian Games performance. So I finished 7th in the last Asian Games. Yeah, and um, I'm so, super happy for that, super grateful for that. So, yeah, thank you, Netkala Park Aquatic Centre. Likit trains at the Netkalapa Aquatic Centre and is the only Indian to have had participated in the breaststroke 100m event at the Asian Games. Likit was closely followed by Vidit S. Shankar from Dolphin Aquatics and Sunish S. from Global Swim Centre. Along with Likit, Harshita Jairam stole the show in the women's category of the skins breaststroke format on day 2. Harshita Jairam represented the Global Swim Centre at the Championship. Tanya S. and Anushka S. Patil, both from Dolphin Aquatics, followed her as the second and third lead. This is the only com in co competition in which the skins even happen all over in India, except for the international and, and stuff. And I feel this is uh, a very good platform for the upcoming swimmers. Some of yesterday's star performers stole the limelight again today. In 50 meter freestyle skins event that was held in the evening, Srihari Nataraj bagged the gold. In women's category of the same event, Vihita Nayana won a gold medal. The younger swimmers aged between 12 and 17 from Group 1 and 2 categories showed enthusiasm and their performance holds promise. It was nice swimming in this competition. I got a chance to swim with uh, other people and, uh, and I got to I got a chance to see the seniors, how they swim and all, and uh, yeah, it was very fun. It was really a, a very amazing sight to look at because there are uh, swimmers all around, the, in, all around India coming here and participating in the skins event. Especially uh, the fly event, Sajin Prakash's uh, ra race was amazing. We have upcoming state meet, so we are working hard on it. Everything is going good. The stakes to win were higher with over 10 lakh rupees cumulative cash price up for grabs across categories. The incentive came as an additional reason for each swimmer to make it to the top. So bringing in, uh, in monetary in in incentives because we don't have much in this field provides us the motivation to you know, push forward, go forward. And I think that you know many uh, swim clubs should come up with this kinds of incentives. Gold medalists across categories were given a cash prize of ten thousand rupees. Silver medalists got seven thousand rupees, and bronze medalists received five thousand rupees. The cash prize for skins events was, however, different. All eight finalists received cash prizes ranging from six thousand rupees to five hundred rupees. Swimming Championship is going to be back next year at the same time. So stay tuned. With camera person Prashant, this is Rishika Kashyap for Deccan Herald.